Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Excel users. In this video we're going to start looking at using multiple worksheets within a workbook. And I'm just going to bring up the bottom of the worksheet area so you can see it in a bit more detail and see the tabs that I'll be talking about. Now when you open a new file in Excel you probably notice that you have at the bottom sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3 typically. It can vary but this is a typical number you will see. And in the tutorial so far, I've only really been using sheet 1, uh, sheet 2 and 3 are blank, as you can see. So first of all, we'll look at how you can get rid of unwanted worksheets if you won't be using them. And there's a couple of ways to do that. One of the very simple ones is to just click on the sheet you want to remove. Make sure that you definitely want to get rid of it. Right click and choose delete. And the reason that I say make sure that you want to remove it is that there is no undo for a worksheet deletion. Another way you can delete a worksheet is to make sure again you have the worksheet active that you want to remove. Click the edit menu and choose delete sheet and again that's gone. So we're now down to a single worksheet in our workbook which is what Excel calls a spreadsheet file. Now suppose you want to add in a new worksheet. How do you do that? Well again very simple right click on an existing sheet tab and simply choose insert it brings up a new dialog the worksheet option will be highlighted already for you just click OK so sheet 2 has moved to the left of sheet 1 here but I can move that back if I want to by simply clicking and dragging now you see when I click on the sheet tab I get this small page icon next to my mouse pointer and a small black marker there indicating where the worksheet will be dropped. So I simply drag it to the right, release the mouse button, and sheet 2 now sits to the right of the original. Another way to add a worksheet is to click the insert menu and choose worksheet. And again that adds in a new one. And again if I choose I can drag sheet 3 to the right of sheet 2. I'm not too worried about the names here at the moment because I'm going to rename these very soon. So I've now got three worksheets again in my workbook. Now what I'd like to do here is actually have five worksheets in total, so I've got four weeks of sales data and a fifth worksheet for a summary. So I need to add two more and another way I can add worksheets is by grouping them together and add multiple sheets. So what I'm going to do here is click on sheet number two, hold down the shift key, click on sheet number three, then right click, choose insert, Again, the dialog pops up giving me the worksheet option. Click OK. And I've now got four blank worksheets and my original. The next step is to rename these so they make more sense. Uh, so anybody looking at the tabs can see what they actually refer to. Sheet 1, I'm going to change by double clicking and typing week 1. And then press Enter. Sheet 2, I'm going to right click and choose rename. That's an alternative way of doing it. And choose or type in week 2, press enter. Sheet 4, I'm going to double click because I think that's the quickest way. So week 3, sheet 5, I'm going to rename to week 4. And finally, sheet 3, as it's called currently, although it's a fifth sheet, I'm going to rename to summary. So those are the five worksheets in my workbook. Four of them are blank at the moment, but I'm going to change that very soon. So if I'm going to go to week one, what I'd like to do is duplicate this worksheet on all the others, and then obviously modify some of the, uh, the figures in the rentals column. So I'm going to click to the left of the A and above the one. And what that does, it selects the entire worksheet, including formatting for rows and columns. I'm then going to press Ctrl and C on the keyboard, go to week 2 and do or press Ctrl and V for paste and that duplicates week 1 from the first sheet to the second sheet. Okay so I want to duplicate this across the remaining three worksheets but I don't want to do it one by one, I want to do it as a group. Uh, so again what I can do here is simply make sure obviously that's still highlighted, Ctrl C to copy click on the first worksheet where I want the paste to occur, hold down the shift key and click on the last one and that will group those three together. And now if I do control and V for paste, you'll see all five worksheets. So now I've got 
the same data. Okay, they all still have the selection on them, but that doesn't really matter. You can just click away to deselect. It's not a problem. Week two, where I began the copy, has got the little marquee box still on it. To cancel the copy, press the escape key, and then to deselect, just click any old way you like. So I'm going to actually regroup those four worksheets, week two through to summary. So hold down the shift key again from week two to summary. So if I right click now, you'll see I've got an ungroup sheet option there. Okay, I'm not going to do that just yet. And I'm going to modify the values in the rentals column. And I just want zero to go in there instead of the existing number. So I'm going to type zero and copy that down. So all the cells from C3 to 11 have got zero in there. I'm going to right click on an existing worksheet, choose ungroup. And if I go through each one, you'll see they all have zero values in that column C, obviously apart from week one, which has its original sales data. So now uh, bear with me a second and I will add in sales data for weeks two, three and four. So now we have data entered into week four, week three, week two and obviously week one as it was. So that's my four weeks of sales data. A little tip I'll show you here for navigating the worksheets to hold the control key down. And if you press the page down key with the control key held down, you'll move to the right or tab right if you like and if you hold the control key down and press page up you will tab to the left now then if i click in the summary worksheet you'll see they're all still zero values which is fine because i'm going to replace these with a calculation later which will be getting the data from the previous four worksheets that'll come in a future tutorial and finally in this one i just want to highlight this cell here F2. Uh, on week one it refers to cell D13. Okay, so it's equals D13. It's a calculation and that simply tells me the total of the month to date. So week one is indeed equal to the sales for the first week. And if I go to week two, we look at the same cell. Now that calculation is incorrect because it should actually include the value from week one as well because this is week two plus week one. So it's a running total if you like. So in the next tutorial, we're going to start looking at creating calculations that take data from other worksheets. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope you found some of the things in there useful and I'll see you next time.